guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's in my makeup bag travel edition uh, for a work conference. <laughs> so uh, if you are not new to my channel, you'll know that last week or the week before um, I did a what's in my travel makeup bag for vacation, like for a beach vacation. Uh, and I said that I would update you also on what's in my makeup bag when I travel for work. Uh, so it is going to be slightly different. I did pick almost entirely new products, I believe, to bring with me for work. Uh, and if you can tell, we are in a hotel room. I'm actually at the conference hotel right now <laughs> um, and uh, I thought I would share this with you guys and let's go ahead and get started. So first as you know this is my makeup bag that I love to carry with me. Um, I believe I got it, from, I, I believe I know I got it from Target. It's a Sony Kasha uh, like a mini train case I think is what it's called. Um, but this is everything that's inside. It has a nice compartment up here for brushes with like a covered flap uh, and then there's lots of good stuff in the actual makeup uh, part as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see, let's start with palettes. I'm sorry if this is loud. Okay, so palettes, I did bring two. Um, and the first one I brought is this little guy, my one of my all-time favorites, my Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. Uh, love this bad boy, it's wonderful uh, for neutral looks and I thought it would be good to bring. I also brought another Tarte palette and this one I haven't actually used yet, though I did actually put the blush on uh, right before I uh, decided to film this. Um, but this is what this little palette looks like. I'm sorry, this is the Tarte Energy Noir palette. Uh, and it looks like this. It has a blush. Ooh, that's reflective. A blush, a highlight, six like sort of shades, uh, eyeshadow shades, as well as two additional eyeshadow shades or liner shades. Uh, so I thought with the blush, it would be perfect for traveling, uh, as well as uh, the different eye looks as well. So that's the other palette I brought. For foundations, I brought a couple. <laughs> uh, I couldn't make up my mind. So I brought, I guess we do primers first. I think I only brought one primer and it's this bad boy. This is the Tarte BB Tinted Primer uh, in the shade Fair. It's very silicone feeling, um, but I wanted to bring this because I love it under this foundation, which is also from Tarte. This is a very Tarte, <laughs> a Tarte video. Um, so this is the um, Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation in the shade Fair Honey. Uh, so I thought this is easy, it's powder. I don't have to worry about you know putting it in my liquids bag or anything like that. Actually, this got through security, not being in my clear, my clear security um, like TSA pre-check bag or whatever. So that's interesting, but I thought this would be convenient which is why I also brought this foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free The Stick Foundation. Uh, this one I am almost out of, if you can see. Uh, so I thought, again, it's not a liquid, it's easy for application. I uh, thought it'd be good for traveling. The one and only concealer that I brought is this little guy, the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Uh, I was realizing I didn't bring <laughs> another concealer, like for spots or anything. Uh, and I used one this morning that I love for that, the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer. I used it this morning and put it right back into my makeup drawer, so, or one of the many makeup drawers. Um, but this is the concealer that I did bring for under my eyes. Uh, let's see, what should we do next? Eye primer, I just brought the Wet n Wild eye primer, love that stuff. Let's see, bronzer and highlight. For highlight, I brought my Mary Luminizer, uh, or my The Balm from, nope. Mary Luminizer by the Balm. <laughs> uh, I love, love, love this highlight. Um, and again, I do have a separate highlight in that Tarte palette. It's very small. Um, but if I want to do more cool tone look, I would use that highlight. And then just my little sample of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I actually have it in uh, my crease today. Just this little Essence All About Matte uh, Fixing Compact Powder. Uh, this is really, really good for setting foundation and uh, keeping it matte. All right, let's see. What should we do next? Brows? Let's do brows. Apparently, I brought a lot, of, a lot of stuff for brows. Uh, so the brow products that I did bring were these two little Benefit samples: the Benefit Goop Group Brow Pencil, as well as the Benefit Browvo Conditioning Primer. Um, I don't know that I noticed a difference when I use this, but I guess we will continue to uh, to test it out. I also brought this little guy, which is uh, the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer Pencil in the shade Brunette. Brunette is the shade. Uh, if I want to go a little bit deeper with my brows, a little bit more intense, the Goop Proof is shade number three uh, and is a little bit light or on the lighter side for uh, what I can pull off with my brows. So this one is a little bit darker and then this is just the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara to sort of set everything in place. 
All right, let's do what liner and mascara. Okay, actually, let's do ba we'll throw bases in there too. Okay, so four bases. I brought two. I brought a more pinky toned or champagne toned one, uh, which is the NYX Jumbo Eye Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Yogurt. Love this bad boy. Uh, let's see. I also brought the Be a Bombshell Cosmetics Eye Base in the shade Submissive, which is more of a bronzy toned one. And then let's see liners. I brought these two, the Elme to go with the more cool toned purpley looks from that Tarte Energy Noir palette. And then this is just the L'Oreal, L'Oreal Intense Liner, I guess, in brown. And then let's see for mascara, one of my all time, all time favorites. I think it is my all time, all time favorite. And there's the, a little sample of the uh, Better Than Sex by Too Faced. And for lips, let's see. So I brought just a little chat balm. This is the Burt's Bees. I think it's grapefruit. Grapefruit. It's the refreshing one. Uh, it's not tinted or anything. It's just uh, a regular lip balm. And then I brought uh, more of a tinted lip balm, which is this e.l.f. one. Bear Kiss is what this one is. It's a nice little tinted balm. And then I also brought two actual lip colors. This one is the one of the new Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. This is the shade Rush. And it's a cream and it's like the perfect natural like your lips but better sort of shade love this shade a ton and i also got this little guy or brought this little guy this is the bite beauty matte cream lip crayon in the shade gloss or glossé uh and it's just a sort of mauvey sort of shade and i got it as a 100 point perk at sephora last week and i thought i'd bring it as well all right now so that is actually all the makeup products now we have brushes so I don't believe that my brushes have changed up all that much from what I brought on vacation or in my travel bag last uh, time that I updated you guys. Um, though last time I realized as I was doing my makeup, like the one time that I did my makeup, that I forgot a blush brush. So I'm going to uh, start with this one. This is the Morphe E4, uh, and I love this for blush, and so I did not forget to pack it this time. Uh, and then let's see, just the powder brush. This is just a Trinity really fluffy brush, good for setting um, with that Essence All About Matte Powder. And then let's see, this is a flat top brush by e.l.f. Um, I use this for blending in either the Fit Me Foundation or the Tarte um, Powder Foundation, as well as the cute little baby Buki from Tarte. Um, this one is not my favorite for applying that foundation, but um, I do like it because it actually gets into the foundation pretty well. If I can show you, this is what the foundation actually looks like. There's like a little hole that you have to push to get product out. Uh, and this fits perfectly, which is why I really like it for that. Uh, let's see. So for bronzer, we have the Morphe E3. For under eye setting, we have the Real Technique setting brush. Let's see. Then we have for highlighting, we have the e.l.f. Small Tapered brush. Perfect for, um, for uh, highlighting. And then I just have some of my eye brushes. The Morphe M441. Love this brush for in the crease. This is my all-time favorite crease brush. Love, love, love it. And then, uh, let's see, for actually putting color down onto the lid, I have an e.l.f. Uh, eyeshadow C brush. And then these are just two random brushes that I, honestly, this one is Sony Cashbook. This one is Mary Kay. I don't know how long I've had this, but uh, this one I use for, like, depositing color and blending on the outer V. And this one I use to sort of blend it all together and to put a lighter shade on my brow bone. So... That is everything that is in my makeup bag for this conference that I am at for the next week. Uh, again, this is Monday, and I'm going to probably try to upload this now. If the, high, uh, if the uh, hotel has decent enough Wi-Fi, we shall find out. Uh, if not, you might <laughs> see this going up a little bit later. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know down below. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.